How's your stool? Welcome to Crackett's Garage. We're going to talk about garage stools. I have two for examples here to talk about and uh, what works for me may work for you. On this side we have the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh Automotive Pneumatic Roller Seat and on my left here we have the Traxion 2-700 Pro Gear Mobile Rolling Gear Seat. That's a mouthful. Let's get to it. I'll leave a link down into the description for both of these stools. This Harbor Freight one I've had for about two years and it finally gave up the ghost. Um, Harbor Freight, for those of you in North America that shop there, they have coupons for 20% off. So after 20% off, this stool ran me $22 and some change plus tax. So it's very, very inexpensive. It is pneumatic and the downswing is of the pneumatic system is within 30 days of usage. With my 200 pounds on it, it would sink down within a matter of minutes while I'm working on my car or my bike or whatever. I own these stools because I do a lot of detailing of my bikes. That's when I personally go over the bike when I'm watching it and cleaning it and detailing it to make sure it's roadworthy and I'm looking for abnormalities in the tire, unusual bolts that are backed out, bulbs in the tire, things of that nature. So I spend a lot of hours on this when I'm working on my bike. So with that said, this one has really small wheels. So when I'm scooting it across the garage floor, if I hit a pebble or sand or a washer that I dropped or something like that, it stops dead in its tracks and dumps me ass over teacup every time. And uh, all, all my nuts, bolts, and tools that were in there go shooting across the garage floor. So it's been kind of annoying in that sense. The vinyl top is unlike any other vinyl I've ever seen on a stool. It's very porous, and what I mean by that is if it gets wet, it stays wet for a week. So if you set a cold drink on it, precipitation of the drink, that ring will be remain wet there for a week. It just absorbs it and remains in there. It's annoying. The deal breaker on the Harbor Freight for me and why it gave up the ghost was these pinch rollers. I'll take some zoomed in pictures. Basically, uh, they're ball bearings, but where the clamshell that pinched together, it's just pinched. Uh, so over time, it has spread out and next time it fell over, all the ball bearings fell out and ran across the floor. So with that said, I, what I set out for was to look for something that had larger wheels so I can easily scoot from side to side of the bike while I'm working on it and uh, hopefully have a better idea for a tray. I tro chose the Traxion because a couple of reasons. Uh, I've spent hundreds of hours in a tractor seat and that's pretty much what this seat is. It offers a little bit of spinal support, does make a difference. A lot more padding on your backside so you can spend some more hours there and not feel fatigued. This one has much lar larger wheels. These are, I believe, five inch wheels. This one has five inch wheels. They glide across pebbles, washers, whatever you have on your garage floor, imperfections, seamlessly. And what I super like is this tray in the bottom. Now, when you put your items in there, like your tools, bolts, cans of fluid, whatever you're working on, and as you scoot around the garage, Normally, when you get to where you're trying to go, this is on the back side and you're facing this side. So what's really nice about it, unlike the Harbor Freight, is you can spin this around without having to fish around behind you to get your tools. It uh, does a really good job so far, and so far the pneumatics have seemed to have been holding up for, for me at 200 pounds. Let's talk about the specs. The specs on the Harbor Freight uh, stool, it adjusts from 15 to 20 inches. It has a 300 pound maximum seat capacity. Seat swivels 360 degrees. Two and a half inch diameter nylon casters. Powder coated finish prevents rust, includes accessible tool tray. Uh, we talked about some of the deficiencies there. I'll take some pictures and I'll throw them up on the screen to give you a little better view of this stool. Now on the Traxion, the specs on this, okay, on the specs on the Traxion, are tractor seat, five inch wheels, all terrain wheels, whatever that means. And uh, it is pneumatic as well. 
They don't talk about how high or low it goes. No, I'm not gonna measure it. And uh, its carrying capacity is up to 400 pounds. I will say it has a much wider radius on the bottom and I have yet to have an issue with it uh, wanting to tip over as I'm scooting across the floor. So two thumbs up for me on this one. Cost on this one is about 22 bucks. This one ranges 110, 120, depending on where you're gonna find it at. Uh, I bought this one on Amazon. Full disclosure, the link I have down from Amazon for this particular stool, I signed up with Amazon, so if you click that link and you purchase it, I'll get a couple of 50 cents or something like that from each purchase that you make, and hopefully it will help out this channel. With that said, uh, there you have it. So there you have it, a quick down and dirty video of some of my gear I use in my shop. I hope it helps you in your future purchases and getting your shop up and ready so you can wrench on your bikes with a whole lot more easier and less pain. I want to say thank you. We have 136 subscribers. Yeah, baby. We're getting there slowly but surely. All thanks to you. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for watching. Looks like all three are hitting me up tonight. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And remember, folks, go right when you can because it's good for you.